Hey everybody, Andrew Zarian here for Catalyst Wrestling, and this is our breakdown segment. This week, I'm joined by Dave Lee from Dave Knows Wrestling. Dave, what's going on? Hey, thank you for having me on the show. Pleasure to be here. Of course, uh, Dave Knows, Knows Wrestling could be followed on YouTube. Great interviews on there. Actually, you just did one with one of my favorite Capital Wrestling stars, uh, Colossal Mike Law. Uh, oh, phenom- yeah, love, love that guy. I, I really do. Unbelievable talent and, uh, and a great dude all around uh you just did an interview if you want to check that interview out guys you can go to dave knows wrestling on youtube and check it out so dave this week we're going to be talking about something very unique in the world of professional wrestling uh this is a new concept of sorts you know we're very used to having uh set divisions and restrictions on styles and matches uh this week i want to talk about catalyst wrestling's freestyle division Uh, i want to get your thoughts on that Okay, um, for me, a lot of people kind of forget about professional wrestling's amateur roots. And I think that's where we really need to start. Because in amateur wrestling, there is, of course, freestyle wrestling. And that's exactly what Catalyst is doing here. Because when it comes to freestyle, whether it's an amateur or professional, the biggest thing is we're open to all kinds of possibilities. Now we can do anything we want, where certain styles or certain weight classes or whatever have restrictions, or there tends to be a certain certain kind of unification of how people approach that. But when we have freestyle, all bets are off. Any kind of style can mix in. So, hey, who's the champion now? Who's on top? It just depends on who's the best at what they do. Is this style going to be dominant right now? Or is this style going to be dominant right now? You can never tell. And that's what's really interesting, that this is a free-for-all and anything can happen. That's what I really like about it. Exactly. And you look at some of the people that have walked through the freestyle division, uh, like Facade, uh, Ghost Shadow, Casey Navarro, uh, which we spoke about last week uh, with his style. Very unorthodox, very different styles mashed up into one i find the concept to be extremely unique uh we've seen it done in the past but it, it's a rarity nowadays right like we, we we always talk about uh heavyweights and cruiserweights and grapplers shooters things like that but having a division that's wide open uh like you said reminiscent of greco-roman wrestling freestyle wrestling uh com- combining into one style i absolutely love it uh I, i'm a big fan of this concept so dave the other thing i, I wanted to get your opinion on uh and this is a a little controversial, right? In the world of professional wrestling, we're very used to championship titles, championship belts, for lack of a better term, right? Because I know we don't like to use the term belt in wrestling. Uh, <laughs> what is your idea of a non-traditional championship? Something like, uh, you know, trophies or a medal or or even a ring that we saw another organization do a couple of years ago. What's your opinion on that? Do you think the the concept of a title belt is something of the past or can we kind of go forward and and mix and match and have you know medals and other kind of non-traditional championships well i actually like that you brought that up because when we're talking about the past uh specifically it's a little bit of a history repeating uh as the uh, shirley bassey song once said uh when we go all the way all the way all the way back to uh professional wrestling in its very very early days again stemming from amateur uh in the olympics we had we have medals, but in the beginning of professional wrestling, all the way back to the Hackenschmidt days, the first remnants of a world title, the first beginning sp- stuff before the NWA even, they were medals. So when we look back at our industry, in the beginning of it all, it did start with medals, just like it did in amateur wrestling, just like it did in the Olympics. So that's where we got that from. So before belts were even a thing for pro wrestling, we had medals. So I think. There's no reason why we're stuck with just belts for everything. Why not have something different? And if you're going to have something like a freestyle division where all bets are off, why not Why not do it there? It's the perfect division to do it for. Exactly. It's an unorthodox division with an unorthodox uh, championship recognition, I guess you would say, for lack of a better term for this. Uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to this, seeing what's next for Catalyst Wrestling, obviously for this division. A uh, big fan of mix and matching of different personalities and styles and things like that. Dave, before we wrap it up, wrapping up our breakdown segment here for today, uh, where can people find you? Obviously, you're you're, you're involved with Catalyst Wrestling. You, you do some work with us uh, and, and you do some amazing interviews in the world of professional wrestling. Uh, give us a little bit of information on 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 your uh, own projects and, and how people uh, could find you. Obviously, Dave Lee Wrestle is your Twitter handle, but give me a little bit of information about your background as far as these interviews go, because I'm really interested by it. 
Sounds great. And uh, thank you for appreciating the work. I'll start there. Uh, but you can find me on Dave Knows Wrestling over on YouTube. Now, when it comes to my YouTube channel, I do a lot of different things. As you said, I've done interviews. I have a documentary on Colossal Mike Law in addition to the interview we had recently. But also, I do a lot of breakdowns, history of professional wrestling. I have a, I have a video talking about the history of the NWA, how they all started, what their original goal was, was to create the first ever unified world championship in professional wrestling. In addition to that, I have things like a Dudley Boys uh, family break, tree breakdown. Uh, so many things, histories of different kinds of styles. And uh, recently, I also had a video on what the Dusty finish is. So plenty, plenty, plenty of things like that. So go check it out if you're into looking at behind the scenes of professional wrestling. Yeah. Now, in terms of my actual background, I've uh, done a lot of things now right now during this exact section. Um, I find myself with way more free time than I used to have, but I've taught broadcast media, things like that, um, as well as having a background in acting and performance, as well as many, many other things in this wonderful world of entertainment. Absolutely love it. Uh, guys, you can follow me at Andrew Zarin. Obviously, Matt Men podcast of what I'm known for in the professional wrestling world. We do weekly podcasts, live radio style format. Also, watch along things like that. Uh, we'll see you all next week on The Breakdown. I'll, I'm, I'm saving our guest for next week. I'm not going to say who it is yet, but I'll save it for next week. We'll have another guest on next week and uh, a lot more stuff to break down here at Catalyst Wrestling. We'll see you next time.